In order to build this patio right, we have to remove seven inches of this material, okay. take it out of here, get rid of the old brick. Before we add any of our new base material, we run the plate compactor over the subgrade. And let me show you our new base material. This is called graded base. It goes from three quarter inch stone down to stone dust. I want you to spread this about two inches thick, and then we'll run the plate compactor over. Okay. The next step was to put in a string line. This string line starts at our baseline, and it's the same height, which is six and three quarter inches below the top of the step. Runs across the patio all the way over to our back line. Now this is here because I wanted the graded base to be exactly three inches below the string line. Now what we're going to do is we're going to put in a screed rail right underneath this line. We're going to set it in sand and that's what Armando and Fred are doing over here. If you look, they've got this rail down in the sand exactly two inches down. But if you look at our paver, our paver set in stands proud about three eighths of an inch, a little higher than the line. But what we're going to do is spread sand all through this area, lay the whole patio in. When the whole patio's in, we're going to take and run the compactor over it. And when we do, this brick is going to settle down so that it's exactly at the height of the string line. Perfect. We're going to pull the screed along the rails and level the sand. Make sure you're on that rail. We're going to go over it again. This is just the first pass, getting it close. This is the one that counts. Okay, we got to go back. See how I have a hole there? Yeah. There's a depression. It's lower than the screed. That means if we put a paver on top of that, we'd have a depression in our patio. So what I want to do is back up. I'm going to put a little more sand in. Let's run over that again, all right? Okay. Beautiful. This step is super important. This is going to determine how your pavers sit. So we're going to take our time, get this right, putting the pavers down, that's going to go quick. I'm going to come down here and I'm going to go right to my 90 degree corner and there's my first paver in place. Now, the trick to pavers is not to drag them in the sand. What you want to do is click it and drop them. Okay. You want to bring over some more? Sure. We have our header course in place. We're going to start our patent. Our patent is called Running Bond. It starts out with a whole brick running all the way down. Put one right in there for me. Okay, now my next joint is gonna span this like this. I'm gonna set it in place and we'll come back later and cut a piece in. All right, I'm gonna come across that joint and we'll keep working our way down. What started out as a bright sunny morning turned into an afternoon of thunderstorms. Fortunately, last night I watched the weather report and I bought plenty of blue tops. Now the next step is to put in edging. This is rigid plastic edging, has holes in the top of it and a lip that will go underneath the brick. Now those are not galvanized spikes and the great thing about them is they rust and when they rust they make it harder to pull out of the ground. Alright Dan, the next step is to spread about a half an inch of sand all over the patio because we're going to spread it down in the joints and lock the pavers into place. Using the plate compactor, we're going to vibrate the sand that we put on the surface so it goes down into the joints of the pavers and locks them in place. Well, what do you think? I think it looks great. I never could have done this without you, Roger. Uh, I think we made a good team today. <laughs> Let's get it done before the heavy stuff comes. <laughs>